Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully everything's working like it's supposed to. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm so excited that you're here. I am looking forward to making some fun stuff today and I also have uh, some fun stuff to show you that people have sent to me that's so kind. And we've got, let's see, she's on this side. Oh no, she's on this side, sorry. We've got Truvy down here um, taking her little morning nap. So if you hear snoring in the background, that is why. Hey Chris, thanks for joining. So I have so many things to show you and talk about and um, some fun projects. And so we are gonna get started, but before we do, I want to tell you that the description if this video is accessible on Facebook by tapping on the screen and it will bring up the description which will have the whole list of supplies there so you can shop in my online store for any of the products you see today there. Also, I forgot to add it before the video started but I am going to have a link if you're interested in purchasing my Framelit cheat sheet. Um, there was a freebie given away this last week um, of the Be Mine Stitched Framelits. So we're gonna go over this cheat sheet and I'm going to show it to you so you can see how it works and more info about that. And then um, also, if you're watching this video on Facebook and you don't see the little red button at the top that says live, that means the video is no longer live and you're watching a recording. So you're welcome to comment, but just know that I will not be interacting back with that comment because that seems to have caused just a little bit of confusion. So the status of this video will change from Love and Stampin' is live to Love and Stampin' was live. So if you check that, then you will know that anytime you're watching any video on Facebook, it's no longer live if the little red button at the top isn't lit up that says live, okay? That means you're watching a recording. If you're watching later on um, YouTube, then this also is not live. If you're watching this on YouTube, it is a recording of a Facebook Live. My Facebook Lives are live every Monday morning at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then I do a second live event in my VIP Facebook group on Monday mornings at 11.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I do a drawing in there um, for, for um, some fun goodies and um, and stuff like that. So it's just another place to see stuff from me if you're interested in being part of that VIP group. Okay, hello in Michigan, hello, hello everybody joining. Thanks for commenting. Another thing you can do for me that would be a huge favor is to give me some hearts and some wows and some thumbs ups, um, letting me know that you're enjoying this video and that also lets Facebook know that you've enjoyed this video. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I have so many fun things to show you. Um, let's go to my, my table. All right, so first of all, I wanna show you the fun stuff I received in the mail over the last week. I got this really sweet card from Karen, who is one of my um, customers, and she sent me this, Sparkle Flip. Isn't that fun? So it's a card game. Apparently only takes 15 minutes to play. And um, it looks like, yeah, uh, ages eight and up. Have not played it yet. So I'm excited to do that. I was saving it to show you guys and then I'm gonna put it in our game closet and we'll play it. But there's a whole funny story with the Farkle thing. So um, if you didn't catch that Facebook Live, um, basically I have a cousin who loves Farkle and plays it incessantly and she wants us to play it on an airplane flying to Greece so that should be interesting so anyway having this is fun and I'm excited to try it out I thought that was really really sweet of Karen so thank you Karen if you're watching or watching the replay I received this card from Velma Garcia thank you for your kindness and I thought it was really sweet it got pretty beat up in the mail but um, it's really pretty and sweet and I liked it and then this is from one of my team members, Roxanne. She sent me a little card with a note and I thought that was really sweet. So just wanted to show those off. And then I've got a fun project for us today. This is actually a case from the catalog. So we are going to, I'm gonna zoom in just a little. 
we are going to make this little goodie here. And this is right out of the catalog. And there is um, this really cool thing. Let me grab my catalog so I can show you. Excuse me, Trudy. Okay, so there's this really fun thing in the catalogs called You Can Make It. And whenever you see this logo, this You Can Make It, that means that Stampin' Up! has gone to the trouble to figure out all the supplies you need for the project, listed them all out, but then they've created one single ordering number if you're interested in getting all the pieces to create this project. So for me personally, this is awesome. If you are a busy mom or grandma or auntie who wants to make favors for the classroom or favors for coworkers or something like that, then you can purchase all the items necessary except for the candy by just putting in this one item number and you will know, okay, I've got everything I need to make this project. So this is just something really, really cool that they've added to the catalog that I absolutely love. I think it's so smart and such a great way to, to um, showcase some of our products and show you that really it doesn't take very many supplies to create some really cute stuff. It is so helpful. So to make the Hello Love Tree Toppers, it would be $55.25 and it includes all the items listed below and one of the items is the cellophane bags. And I'm pretty sure you get, you either get 25 or 50 of the bags. I can't remember off the top of my head. Maybe one of you know. But you get a bunch of the bags. And so honestly, you could make enough for a whole classroom or a whole work party or whatever it is that you're engaging in um, with just this one thing. And so you might think, oh gosh, $55, that's kind of a lot. But if you break that up per item, you're actually probably could not go to the store or anywhere else and purchase something this adorable and cute and fun um, for the price per item, right? So there's just throwing that out there for you. Okay, um, so the Hey Love stamp set is going to be my focus stamp set all week. I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is something kind of new that I'm doing where I'm focusing on a product every week, or I should say a focal product. So I obviously am using a lot of different products, but um, okay, perfect. So Karen said you get 50 in, a, in that package. So you get 50 of these bags. So if you divide 50 up between the $55 or whatever, it kind of comes to like, yeah, so it's like 350 per bag or even probably a little bit less. Oh, three fifty for the fifty. Yeah, so probably looking at a dollar fifty to two dollars per little goodie by the time you add the candy. So it's a really actually excellent deal. Um, plus, then you have the stamp set forever and the other products, and so you can reuse them, right? Okay, so I have been kind of focusing on a product or having a product spotlight. So this is my product spotlight item for the week. Now that means I'll be using lots of different project products to pair with this, but this stamp set is going to be my focus. And one of the things that inspired me to do this was um, I often have friends or co uh, team members, um, different people tell me I didn't want that stamp set until I saw what you did with it. And then they want to purchase the stamp set. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to kind of make that my mission. Like, Take a stamp set that people, you know, maybe some of you already love this and you purchased it, no problem. But maybe some of you are like on the fence and then maybe some of you are like, eh, no, not my thing. I want to take the eh, no, not my thing people and make them like, yeah, now I want that. Because I think that that's fun. It's like a challenge for me to show you enough cute stuff with it to expand your mind and creativity to where you want to get it. So anyway, it's just kind of a little challenge I'm doing with, with myself. Okay, um, so we're gonna make this. I'm gonna set this actually right here while we make it. And I have this bag of Jelly Bellies and everybody always asks me where I get all my candies. Um, you can see they're all the pink assortments. So they're all these colors. I get them on Amazon. All you have to do is go to amazon.com and Google pink candy, green candy, 
orange candy and it will come up with all kinds of options for you. So I got this gigantic bag. I think it's, yeah, it's a two pound bag of this pink candy and it could be used for all kinds of things, obviously. Baby showers, wedding showers, Valentine's, um, just little girly cute stuff, whatever you want. Okay, so I have the candies and then I have all my pieces cut and prepped. So I've got my paper. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So this piece of paper, of course I didn't write it down for whatever reason, is cut at five and a quarter by two and an eighth. And then it's scored at two and an eighth. Now before I fold it, I'm going to do my stamping. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm going to stamp the Hey Valentine sentiment first because I really want to know where to place my gorilla. And if I don't do my sentiment first, I fear that I will not have enough space at the bottom to add it. So that's why I do that one first. Hi, Patricia. Um, you know, I need to check my messages to see if I got your address. I haven't gotten that far yet. I did get your email but I haven't gotten any further, so I will check that when I'm done here. Okay, then we're gonna stamp our gorilla, who by the way, is named Henry. Just in case anybody was wondering, he um, is my friend and he has a girlfriend named Loretta. Sometimes with some of my stamp sets, I, use, I make up stories about them. I don't know why, uh, it's weird. And it's, I don't know. I don't know why I do it, but I think it's funny and fun. And sometimes I do it. So there you go. <laughs> okay. So anyway, they live in Atlanta, um, Henry and Loretta. And I feel like this is his first Valentine just based on his sweet little face. This is the dark smoky slate marker and this is the light smoky slate marker and we are going to add all his grayness so you could make him any color you wanted to because he's your gorilla but I thought light gray dark gray would be a fun combo I made his hands uh, dark and his feet dark because like whenever I've seen anything gorilla they have darker hands actually don't know if it's darker probably matches their fur but it, their hands just look so dark and black and big and strong so I have always I don't know coloring him that way makes sense to me okay um, aw, thanks. Joyce says, so cute. <laughs> Carrie says, I'm funny. I don't know about that. I'm something, all right. Okay, so we're going Flirty Flamingo on the heart, which I did a much lighter heart on the other one, but hey, who cares? And we're going to fold this at the top. Okay, so then the question is, what size do you make this? Because you don't want to necessarily fill it all the way up, but you can. So I thought I would make this one a little bit bigger and I'm going to make these for my daughter's class, I think, um, or actually probably gonna let her make them for her class. So I thought if I do one that's full length, then that one could be for the teacher and the rest could be for the kids. So it's like there's a big one and little ones. So I'm just gonna put these in here and I would love to State for the record, I washed my hands before I did this, in case anybody felt concerned over that. We won't include that one, because my desk is probably not clean. Stampin' Up's bags are food safe, so that's really good. Good to know. Okay, and then we're just going to close it up like this, and then you've got these cute... Jelly Belly. So let's close this Jelly Belly bag, shall we? Coloring is very relaxing. I agree. He is a sweet gorilla, isn't he? 
I just love him. Okay, so you can use whatever you want to use to close this up, but here's my suggestion. Leave a little bit of space up here at the top. Don't push this all the way down so that it's completely even with the bag. If you leave a little space like so, I'm hoping this is showing up on screen, um, then when you use adhesive here, it's going to kind of make a closure pinch part here because as you see, it's not going out past the bag. So we just wanna make sure that this bag stays closed and that the, um, so I'm gonna add adhesives to both sides because remember, these two sides are not gonna touch each other, right? So you have to add adhesive to both sides of the topper. And then you're going to, this is how I do it. I take the cello and I lay it down inside the topper and I close the front. And that's that. So then we've got our little black Baker's twine piece here. And you could notch out the sides if you want to so that this would sit inside the notches. Um, but I'm just gonna tie it and then adjust it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna wrap this, tie it, double knot first, then a bow. And then we're going to slide this up to the top. I'm going to bring this in a little bit tighter, trim it again, and done. Voila! Voila! So you've got a big and a little. If you want the little size, you would just cut the bag at four inches. From the top. Okay, could you staple them? Of course you could. The only thing is it's gonna show because you don't have any other layers of paper. So if you stapled them, that's the only thing. And you can see I totally covered, colored them differently and they're both adorable. So you could do it either way, whatever you prefer. And you get this really cute little finished project. So one of the things I hear people say a lot when I do stuff like this is like, uh, I'm, I don't have little kids at home. Um, I don't have anybody that I would make these for. And I would just encourage you to make some of these types of projects and give them out to people who are in your local community. You know, people at the post office, people at the bank, people at the grocery store. Um, friends, family members. It doesn't have to be a Valentine and it doesn't have to be for a kid. This is cute for anybody. So there's your options. Okay, so there's that. Now I wanted to show you, this is the project that I'm gonna make over in my VIP group after this is over. So it's really cute and it's Valentine's for my daughter. So we're gonna make that next over in the VIP group. I also wanna show you this. So this is the, um, it's gonna get renamed because right now it's Basic Shapes, but that's not true because I've already added to it, so it's no longer Basic Shapes. shapes. Um, this is a Framelit cheat sheet. So one of the requests I had was to explain it a little better and show how to use it. So I'm going to do that. So this was a freebie that I gave away on my blog um, earlier, actually it was Saturday. So if you go to my blog and you look up Saturday's blog post, you will find this free download and giveaway there. Okay. For just this page. So these are the Be Mind stitched framelits. I measured all of the framelits. So all of the measurements are listed here, um, on the size of the framelit along with centimeters. So it's Imperial and metric. And then I give tips for the framelits. So for example, framelit number five and six are only embossing framelits. They do not cut out an image. This was something I had to learn the hard way. So if you're purchasing this framelit set or if you're a demonstrator and you um, have clients who might be purchasing this set, this is really good information for them to know and for you to know because I thought that it cut them. 
um, framelits number one and two cut out a frame piece and a center heart. The sizes of the inside hearts are these. So um, these framelits number one and two cut out this little frame piece plus there's an inside piece that's left over. So that's the size of those. Um, and then I just mentioned that it's from the Occasions catalog because as this list grows, you will find um, that um, that you may not remember where, where this framelit set is from. So the cost of the cheat sheet is $13.95 and it will continue to be added to at no additional charge. There is a page that you can access to just continue downloading it and download and you can print just the new pages of it. And so if you're interested in that, you can purchase it on my blog by going to loveandstampin.com, click on shop, and then click on cheat sheet. And it's down there kind of like on the second row. Okay, then um, the other thing I wanted to share is I have had some really wonderful feedback about this because I go through and label out the sizes for the squares, the circles, the ovals, the stitched shapes, and the rectangles, okay? Not only have I listed like the sizes for the rectangles, I've also listed the layered size. So if you go and look at number nine and go over here to number nine, you're gonna see that this cuts out one and three quarters inch by three five eighths inch. And the layer that would go under it or the mat would be two inches by three and seven eighths inches. So I have done um, comparisons for all of those and stuff like that. So I've, I've received tons of wonderful feedback and I've received also a few negatives. So I just want to address those really quick. I had a couple of people say to me, um, you should not be charging for this. And here is what I have to say about that. Um, and in fact, I wasn't even going to address this, but I, I feel like it's important to do so. Um, this took several hours to create, not just the document, but blogging about it, understanding how it was all going to work, coordinating framelit sets to framelit sets, all the pieces that go have gone into this, and it's going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to add to it. So when we get a new catalog, there's going to be new framelits, and people are going to want measurements for some of those, and I'm going to provide that at no additional charge. So once you've paid for it, you've paid for it for a lifetime, and it's a document that's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. So I want to just say that right up front and make people understand that. And you will always get the updates emailed to you as long as you've signed up for the email list once you've purchased the download. And the other thing I want to address is one thing I feel like people don't understand about um, people who do YouTube or people who blog or people who do online um, anything is that there are so many hours put in. I should go to I should go to my screen actually. There we go. There are so many hours put into um, developing content, sharing content, giving away freebies, doing things that that enrich your creative experience and mine, and all of that's done at no guarantee to make a dime. And sometimes I spend hours in this room doing different things. So it could be coming up with a cheat sheet. It could be creating blog posts and giving away the over 1000 videos I have on YouTube that teach you how to make something for free. There is no charge for any of those. So when I made the decision to create this document, I knew right away that I was going to be charging for it because I knew the amount of hours that would be invested into creating the document, answering questions about the document, maintaining the email list, sending updates on the email list with new um, updates to the tutorial or to the cheat sheet, and all the pieces that go into that. And 
I don't think that people who don't do this for a profession understand the amount of hours and sweat equity that go into projects at absolutely no guarantee of any financial return. Now, if somebody said to me tomorrow, you're never going to get paid a dime for crafting, but would you still do it? Yeah, I would. I still would craft. I would still create. I would still share because I love that. And that's why I started doing this in the first place. But at the same time, I recognize that there is a value associated with the time and hours and energy spent on creating amazing tools and videos and all the other pieces. And I don't think that anybody would ever walk into a place like Hobby Lobby and say, I would like that instructional book that um, you've written over there or that so-and-so has written over there for free, please. I'm just going to walk out of here with it or walk into a store and say, you know, can you make an exception for me and give me like $20, $40 in product for free? It's always kind of shocking to me how much expectation there is for things to be handed out and given for free. And I think that the YouTube world and the online world industry has really created that mentality because so many things are given away for free. For example, I gave away the last page, the, the uh, most recent update of the, of the cheat sheet for free because I wanted people to have a sample of what a great tool it is and for them to be able to see it for themselves. So um, there, and, and I want people to enjoy and have, have fun things for free and stuff like that. I don't think there's ever a mentality of give me, give me, give me, I wanna charge for everything. I never feel that way and I look at other demonstrators and I don't see them behaving that way. So one of the ways that people can think of it, if they are frustrated by a charge for anything, not just my product, but anything, is, you know, how many YouTube videos have you watched of that person's at no charge? How many blog posts has that person written and provided free instructions or measurements or free downloads or whatever over the course of how many years? I've been doing this for eight years. So I have a huge resource library full of free stuff. So you can look at purchasing something like this as giving the person a thank you or a tip and saying, thank you for all you do. Yes, of course, I'm going to buy this and pay money for this because you worked so hard on it. So maybe for anybody out there that's watching that has had negative things to say about any YouTuber or um, online person, a demonstrator, or even any other businesses that are charging for a product, just remember that they have a family, they have feelings, they have people in their lives they are needing to feed, they have bills to pay, and the only way that that happens is by the grace of God and by pur people purchasing things from you, just like you would in a store. So just keep all that in mind for those who, who kind of had this very nasty mentality about it. And I want to read some of your guys' comments because they're coming in and they're so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to scroll way back up. Um, okay. Uh, da, da, da. What about using a piece of cardstock? Oh, you're asking about the project. So yeah, you totally could. Um, oh, I need to go back to this view. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you could totally make this your base and then cut a layered piece of cardstock and put it on top and do the stapling. That would work totally. It's a great idea. Um, yes, post office workers. Um, cute idea for next door neighbor kids. How about the senior citizen home? I love that. You know how happy this would make People, now I would say maybe you'd have to change up the candy and make it something a little bit softer. I don't know if I would do jelly bellies for senior citizens um, in a retirement center, but you could still do something really cute. Um, but that's a great idea. 
thank you for the thank you okay love the cheat sheet no charge really how many hours did it take very cheap purchase yeah it took about 35 to 38 hours to create it because I had to cut all the dies I had to measure them all I had to figure out the layers and then there's some of them that I figured out the coordinating across different framelit sets and then it's just going to continue to get added to so I feel like it's a great out uh, value um, thank you, Emma. That's very sweet. Oh, thank you. So many of you are saying so many kind things. Deborah, what a wonderful resource. What, for all the time and effort you put into the cheat sheet, your charge is very reasonable. Thank you. Diane, my goodness, I don't expect to get it free. They would, a sharp, I bet. You shouldn't even explain. I know. I shouldn't even explain, but it's, you know, it's not even an explanation. I'm going to be really honest. It's a little bit of a rant. Right, And I try to stay away from ranting because I feel like it serves no purpose. So I almost never, ever complain or rant because it's just useless. And frankly, the people that need to get the message probably will never watch this video and get the message. Or they'll just have something negative to say about it anyway. But there are these moments, right, where you're just like, really, people? And you just, you just have like these... You know, moments in time, I'm mean, going to go back to our me face-to-face. -face. Um, it does take a long time to create this type of stuff. Thank you. Oh, you're sweet. Cindy says, I sew things sometimes and I'm amazed at the people who look at you like you are charging too much. And it's just crazy because they have no clue how much time it takes. Yes truth. In fact, I've always kind of teased my team members and said, don't sell your cards because the amount of time it takes you to make the cards is like exponential. And so then you're selling them for like three bucks a piece. So you're really making like negative five dollars on the card. <laughs> so I actually discourage that because you're right. It does take so much time to create stuff. Um, you're really providing a service because we don't have to do the work. Thank you. That's sweet. Sherry says, happy to purchase such a valuable tool. Hours of figuring it all out and the frustration it will free up is priceless. Agreed. That's why I created it, right? Is because I was like, oh my God, every, I would get emails or Facebook messages or YouTube messages where people are like, what size is XYZ Framelit? And I, I was always like, oh my gosh, now I have to go figure that out. So I would go over and I would cut, because you really can't measure just the framelit. You kind of have to cut it and then measure it. So yes, I'm hoping it frees up a lot of time and energy for people. I think you did a good job of sharing far more than what you have charged for. Oh, thank you. Kathy, thanks so much for sharing today. I would love the cheat sheet, but I have a mix of various framelits edge lunch that I've been collecting since 2005. Yep, totally get that. Uh, you're generous and this is your job, your income. I think you're spot on. Thank you. It's a lot of work. Jelly bellies and dentures are no fun. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, you're sweet, Emma. Um, Linda says, unfortunately, there are folks in the world who are clueless and ones with nasty attitudes. You are not lying. I mean, I'm telling you, when it comes to charging for something or money, it just brings out people's fangs. It's shocking to me. I, I get the random nasty comment on YouTube. I do. Everybody does. Anybody who YouTubes has that happen. Um, that's normal. I expect it. I actually applaud it. I kind of like it when I get a nasty comment because that tells me that I'm doing a good job in reaching a lot of different people because you usually don't get any negative feedback until you've hit a place where enough people have seen you that then you get the haters or the trolls, whatever you want to call them. So I actually have to say that when I do get a negative response on like YouTube or something about a video or whatever, I'm not angry about it. I kind of embrace it. But this just hit me wrong because I thought, wow, it is so shocking to me how many people want something for nothing. Um... Oh, thank you. Good to get your rant off your chest. You are among friends. That's sweet. Karen says, whether you bake, sew, crochet, whatever, the people who don't do it can't appreciate it. I agree. Oh, you miss seeing Katie. You know, we are going to try to get sister back on um, 
sometimes. It probably will be in these time slots because um, it's just, it is so hectic. Like today, she's not here yet. She's not coming till noon because my husband's home and he's sleeping because he worked all night last night. So um, she didn't want to come and wake him up. Okay. I love all your guys' comments and thank you so much for chiming in and making me feel better and encouraging me and letting me know I'm not crazy for charging for something that took me hours to develop and um, super appreciate all of you that follow me and order from me and you know always comment and support my business. I really 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 appreciate it. So. That being said, we are going to do a giveaway because we should always be doing those because they're so much fun. Um, I've got, I thought I had two up here. I don't know where my other one is. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to do this one. This is the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper and you can't get this anymore. Uh, I, no, buddy, stop. Sorry, you guys, my dog's barking. And then how about I give away one of these guys? Because I thought I had two giveaways up here and I don't see them now. Um, oh no, am I frozen? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Winner number one, Emma Brettel. Oh, I said it wrong. It's Brettel, Emma Brettel. So um, I'm thinking that she is going to probably want this guy because she is um, probably has a sum of this, I'm guessing. All right, next winner is Cindy Kastorf. Cindy Kastorf. So I will send you, Cindy, the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. And Emma, I will send you this goodie. Or maybe I'll just give it to you when I see you. <laughs> I'll be seeing Emma soon. Um. Okay, so those are the two winners. And then I'm going to my VIP Facebook group in like 10 minutes. And I'm going to do another live there. So if you hurry and you request to be part of that group, I will add you. I'll go sit down and add people really quick right now. So that, just Google um, Wendy's Love and Stamp and VIP and the group should come up. It's a public group. And so you can see my project there and hang out with me for a little bit longer and I promise not to rant. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for tuning in guys. Have a great day, bye-bye.